Are you feeling lazy and unmotivated to work on your financial goals? Do you think that money is only for the smart and the lucky? Well, you might be surprised to learn that money has more to do with psychology than with intelligence or luck. In fact, laziness can be a powerful tool to improve your financial situation if you know how to use it wisely. In this video, I will show you the 10 lessons about money from the book The Psychology of Laziness by Muhammad Shaquille. By the end of this video, you'll learn how to overcome procrastination, leverage your laziness, and achieve financial freedom. So hit the subscribe button and let's dive in. Let's get started with the first of 10 lessons about money from the psychology of laziness, and that is laziness and financial decisions. So picture this. We all know that one person, let's call him Alex, who just can't seem to get his act together when it comes to money. Alex is a lazy guy. Bills pile up unopened and untouched. Investments? Well, they're more like a mystery box for Alex, unopened and left in the corner. You see, Alex believed that managing finances was a future problem, and time was on their side. But here's the best part. Time has a sneaky way of slipping through your fingers, especially when you're not looking. So, what's the deal here? Laziness when it comes to money is like having a treasure map but deciding to search for it later. You might have riches waiting for you, but without action, it's just a buried treasure. Now let's break it down. Laziness in the world of finance is like hitting the snooze button every morning. Those extra minutes in bed are cozy, but they won't make you punctual. Laziness with your finances keeps you comfortable, but it also keeps your financial dreams at arm's length. Think of it this way. Imagine if you could put your money in the fridge and it would grow like a delicious cake you forgot about. Sounds great, right? Unfortunately, it's not how it works. Laziness with your finances is like hoping that cake in the fridge will magically triple in size while you binge watch your favorite show. It's a nice thought, but it's far from reality. Laziness in finance is like expecting your piggy bank to break dance and fill itself. Spoiler alert, it doesn't have any dance moves. You can't water a plant by just staring at it, and you can't grow your wealth by merely staring at your bank account. Laziness might be tempting, but it's like eating a whole cake. Satisfying at first, but you'll feel the regret soon enough. Now, don't worry. We're not here to just point out the problem. We've got solutions, and they're as exciting as an amusement park. Overcoming laziness in your financial journey is like getting out of bed on a chilly morning. It's a bit tough at first, but once you're up and moving, you're ready to conquer the day. The same applies to your financial journey. Think of it as an exciting game where you're the main character. The more you actively participate, the higher your score in the financial game of life. And who doesn't want to be a champion, right? So consider this your friendly nudge. It's time to get out of that financial bed, put on your imaginary superhero cape, and get ready to tackle your financial dreams. Your financial future is in your hands, and laziness may knock on your door but you don't have to let it in. Instead, put on your imaginary superhero cape and become the financial superhero of your story. All right, now let's move to the next lesson about money from, and that is overcoming procrastination. You see, this lesson is like a delicious sandwich with two very different fillings, Sarah and Tom. Let's unwrap their stories. Picture Sarah, our go-getter. She's the kind of person who doesn't wait for tomorrow to start what she can do today. When it comes to managing her money, she's like an early bird that catches the worm. Sarah understands the power of compound interest, and she knows that every dollar saved today can grow into more tomorrow. Now, meet Tom, our procrastinator. He's like the guy who always says, I'll do it later. When it comes to financial decisions, Tom often leaves things on the back burner. He doesn't realize that every day he postpones, he's missing out on opportunities. It's like he's running a race but starting several laps behind everyone else. Sarah and Tom may be two fictional characters, but their stories mirror the real-world struggles many of us face. Now, let's dive deeper into why Sarah's approach is the one to emulate. Sarah's secret sauce is her ability to act promptly. She's aware that when it comes to money, time is money. She starts saving early, investing wisely, and working towards her financial goals with enthusiasm. It's as if she's planting seeds in her financial garden, nurturing them every day, and watching her money tree grow tall and strong. On the flip side, there's Tom who's stuck in the cycle of procrastination. He's like the hare in Aesop's fable, always taking it easy, thinking he can catch up whenever he wants. 
But in the financial world, being the hare means you're missing out on the consistent and gradual growth that the tortoise, represented by Sarah, enjoys. Let's break it down further. When you procrastinate, you're essentially saying, I'll do it later, and later often turns into days, weeks, or even years. The problem with this approach is that financial opportunities don't wait for you. The stock market doesn't hit pause just because you haven't decided to invest yet. To overcome procrastination and follow in Sarah's footsteps, you need to change your mindset. Think of it this way. Every day you postpone taking action on your money goals is like another day you're locked out of the financial playground. One of the simplest steps you can take is to set specific financial goals. Rather than vaguely saying, I'll save more money, try saying, I will save $500 every month. This way, you have a clear target, and it's easier to take action when you know what you're aiming for. Another trick is to break your financial goals into smaller, manageable tasks. Sarah didn't wake up one day and decide to invest her entire savings. Instead, she started small and gradually increased her investments over time. It's like climbing a staircase, one step at a time. Think about the benefits of taking action sooner rather than later. By investing early, you allow your money to grow and multiply. Compound interest starts working in your favor, and you'll find that your initial efforts pay off more than you ever expected. In contrast, procrastination leads to missed opportunities. You'll often find yourself regretting the what-ifs and wondering where your money could have been if only you had taken action earlier. So Sarah, the early bird, shows us that taking action on your money goals can set you on the path to financial success. On the other hand, Tom, the procrastinator, teaches us that waiting and postponing can leave you trailing behind. Remember, your financial journey is a race against time. The earlier you start, the better your chances of reaching your money goals. So don't be a Tom, be a Sarah and watch your finances soar to new heights. Now let's talk about mind's power for wealth. The next lesson about money from the psychology of laziness. Now this one is going to blow your mind, so stick with me, guys. You know, the idea of thinking your way to riches might sound like magic, but it's more like the secret sauce of success. Picture your mind as a genie's lamp and your thoughts as the wishes you make. The incredible thing is, the more you focus on positive thoughts and financial goals, the more likely you are to turn those thoughts into reality. It's like having your very own financial wizard granting your wishes. Ever heard about the guy who wanted to be a millionaire? He thought if he taped a dollar bill to his forehead and believed hard enough, he'd attract wealth. Well, that didn't quite work out. But here's the catch. It's not about just believing, it's about taking action too. No one ever got rich just by taping money to their forehead. All right, back to business. Let me share a fantastic quote from the legendary Jim Rohn. He once said, the major key to your better future is you. Now doesn't that pack a punch of wisdom? What Roan meant is that you are the captain of your ship, and the direction you sail in is determined by your mindset and beliefs. Think of your mind as a magnet. When you focus on your financial dreams and visualize your goals, you're sending out positive signals to the universe. It's like putting out a welcome wealth sign. And guess what? Wealth starts finding its way to you. It's like a magnetic attraction, but without the fridge clutter. Have you ever heard of someone who believed so much in their financial goals that they talked to their bank balance? Hey there, Mr. Bank Account. I'm ready for some abundance. Well, talking to your bank balance might be a bit out there, but maintaining a positive attitude towards your finances is a surefire way to get on the right track. Now let's address the science behind this mind power. It's not hocus pocus. It's called the Reticular Activating System, or RAS for short. Your RAS is like the bouncer at the entrance of your mind's nightclub. It filters out the noise and lets in what you're focusing on. So if you're fixated on your financial goals, your RAS starts sending you opportunities and ideas that align with those goals. It's your mind's way of saying you're on the VIP list. But remember, it's not just about daydreaming. It's about setting clear financial goals and then letting your mind work its magic. As they say, Goals are dreams with deadlines. So note down your financial dreams, give them a timeline, and let your mind lead you to the treasure at the end of the rainbow. So, in a nutshell, this lesson is all about using your mind as a tool to attract wealth and abundance. It's like having your very own treasure map and a mindset that leads you straight to the gold. 
Keep those positive thoughts flowing, set your financial goals, and let your mind do the rest. It's the real deal, not just a fairy tale. By the way, if you're enjoying the video so far and want more topics like this, comment the word more so I know. All right, let's move to the next lesson that is avoiding money mistakes. Now picture this, money mistakes. We've all made them at some point, right? But some of these are as common as Monday morning blues. Let's call them Monday Money Blunders, a name that fits perfectly into our theme of laziness. So here are some of the most common ones. One day, our dear friend, let's call him Joe, decided that investing in a get-rich-quick scheme was a brilliant idea. Joe thought he'd be lounging on a beach sipping coconut water in no time. But however, it was more like sipping on a bitter truth. Those schemes often turn out to be as real as a unicorn. So, lesson one, if it sounds too good to be true, it probably is. As Joe learned, there's no shortcut to financial success. Remember, even the legendary investor Warren Buffett once said, the stock market is designed to transfer money from the active to the patient. So, patience, guys. There's a classic story about a man who thought he could save his way to riches. Every penny he earned went into his piggy bank. He was so frugal that he even tried using two-ply toilet paper as one ply to save some cash. But let's not be too hard on him. We've all been tempted to be penny pinchers at times. The important thing is to find a balance between saving and investing. As the saying goes, you can't save your way to wealth. Now, here's an inspirational story to brighten the mood. Have you heard about a guy named Elon Musk? He's the man behind SpaceX and Tesla. His story is like something out of a science fiction novel. Not long ago, he was broke, sleeping on his friend's couch and eating just one meal a day. But he never let laziness dictate his life. Musk had a dream, and he pursued it relentlessly. Today, he's one of the richest people on the planet. His story reminds us that it's not where you start, it's where you're determined to finish. So let's make a pact with ourselves. No more couch surfing, right? Speaking of inspiration, our video, 10 Lessons About Money from the Psychology of Laziness. It's all about the psychology of our money choices, after all. So back to our Monday money blunders. Another classic one is ignoring financial goals. We often set these grand money goals and then forget about them. It's like planning a road trip, but once you're on the road, you forget where you were heading. To avoid this, make your financial goals a part of your daily life. Put a sticky note on your fridge, set reminders, and keep your eye on the prize. And now, let's get a bit cheeky here. We've all got that one friend who's convinced that their lucky day will come when they win the lottery. They probably even have a secret handshake with their favorite lotto machine. Well, here's the reality check. The chances of winning the lottery are about as slim as finding a unicorn in your backyard. So let's take a moment to remember that money's more about consistent effort than hitting the jackpot. Investing wisely, saving consistently, and learning along the way will get you a lot further than relying on a lottery win. In a nutshell, when it comes to avoiding common money mistakes, remember to stay grounded, save diligently, invest wisely, and keep your financial goals front and center. And as we've seen from Elon Musk's story, dreams can take you from couch surfing to interstellar journeys. So this lesson is all about how to avoid the Monday money blunders. Remember, you're not alone in this financial journey, and every little step you take is a step toward a wealthier future. Now let's move to the next lesson about money from the psychology of laziness, and that is positive money mindset. Picture this. There's a person named Emily, a bright soul but with a dark perspective on money. For Emily, money was synonymous with evil. She firmly believed that those who possessed wealth must be inherently greedy and dishonest. In her eyes, money was the root cause of all problems in the world. Now, Emily's perspective might sound extreme, but it's not uncommon. Many people associate money with negative traits because of stories they've heard or experiences they've had. It's like having a tainted lens through which they view the world of finance. But here's the twist. This mindset was holding Emily back. Her belief that money was evil prevented her from making wise financial choices. She avoided opportunities to invest, save, or even budget effectively. Emily's aversion to wealth led her to miss out on chances to secure her future. Let's break it down in simple terms. Imagine money as a tool, just like a hammer. A hammer can build a house or break a window, depending on how it's used. Money, too, is a tool. 
It can be used for good or bad depending on the person wielding it. Consider a wealthy philanthropist who funds education for underprivileged children. Their money is creating a positive impact. Now think about a corrupt individual misusing funds for personal gain. It's not the money that's good or bad, it's the intention and actions behind it that matter. Emily's mindset needed a shift. She needed to understand that money, when used responsibly, could bring immense good to her life and the lives of others. It could fund her education, secure her family's future, and enable her to contribute positively to her community. Gradually, Emily started to challenge her beliefs. She read inspiring stories of entrepreneurs who used their wealth to create charities, fund research, and help communities thrive. These stories opened her eyes to the positive potential of money. Slowly, she began to embrace the idea that she could use money as a force for good, aligning her financial goals with her values. Over time, Emily's attitude transformed. She started budgeting, saving, and even exploring investment opportunities. By adopting a positive mindset towards money, she gained financial confidence. Emily realized that her newfound perspective wasn't just about accumulating wealth. It was about creating security, freedom, and opportunities for herself and others. And that, my friends, is the power of changing your mindset. It's not about worshiping money or believing it's the answer to all problems. It's about recognizing its potential, understanding its value, and using it to shape a better future, one that's financially stable and filled with possibilities. So remember, your attitude towards money can shape your financial destiny. Embrace the positive potential, and you'll find that money can be a tool for incredible positive change in your life and the world around you. All right, let's talk about the next lesson that is leveraging skills for earnings. Imagine your skills are like puzzle pieces, each unique and essential to your financial success. Now, picture these pieces fitting perfectly into your life, creating a complete picture of financial stability and abundance. It's like solving a puzzle where your skills are the key pieces and your financial dreams are the big picture on the box cover. Now, here's where the title of our video comes into play. 10 Lessons About Money from the Psychology of Laziness. Just like the lessons in the book, leveraging your talents is a crucial step toward financial empowerment. Your skills are not just abilities. They are potential income streams waiting to be explored. Think of your talents as your superpowers. Whether you're great at writing, designing, teaching, or cooking, there's someone out there willing to pay for what you excel at. The Internet has opened up a vast marketplace where your skills can shine. It's like having a global stage where you can showcase your talents to the world, all thanks to the power of technology. So how do you make money from your skills? Well, it's all about recognizing your value. Just like in our book title, laziness has no room here. When you acknowledge your worth, others will too. Don't shy away from charging what you deserve for your expertise. Remember, your skills are valuable and people are willing to invest in quality. Picture this. You're not just earning money, you're creating a life you love. Your skills can lead to fulfilling careers, passionate side hustles, or even your own successful business. It's not just about financial gain. It's about finding joy and satisfaction in what you do. And here's the fun part. You're not alone on this journey. Online communities and platforms are buzzing with people just like you, eager to share their experiences and support one another. It's like being part of an exclusive club where everyone helps each other succeed. Remember, your skills are not just a part of who you are. They are your pathway to a brighter, wealthier future. Keep exploring, keep learning, and keep leveraging those talents. Now let's talk about wise money investments. The next lesson about money. Investing can be like a double-edged sword. It has the potential to grow your wealth, but it can also cut deep if you're not careful. So. Let's navigate this terrain and make sure you come out on the winning side. Investing can seem complex, but let's keep it simple. It's all about putting your money to work for you. And remember, investing isn't just for the wealthy elite. As the famous investor Peter Lynch once said, the stock market is filled with individuals who know the price of everything but the value of nothing. So let's start by understanding the value of investing. One fundamental concept in investing is diversification. It's like not putting all your eggs in one basket. When you diversify your investments, you spread the risk. Imagine you have a garden, and instead of planting only one type of crop, you plant several. 
If one crop fails, you have others to rely on. In the investment world, this means spreading your money across different assets like stocks, bonds, and real estate. Another key principle is patience. Legendary investor Benjamin Graham once said, in the short run, the market is a voting machine, but in the long run, it is a weighing machine. This means that in the short term, the stock market can be influenced by emotions and trends, but in the long run, the true value of companies and assets will prevail. So don't be swayed by short-term fluctuations. Stay patient and focused on your long-term goals. When investing, it's crucial to have a clear plan and set realistic goals. Just like you wouldn't set off on a road trip without a map, don't start investing without a well-defined strategy. Decide what you're investing for, whether it's retirement, buying a house, or funding your child's education. Having clear goals will guide your investment decisions and help you stay on track. Risk is an inherent part of investing. But here's the thing. You don't have to take unnecessary risks. As Mark Cuban wisely put it, it doesn't matter how many times you fail. You only have to be right once, and then everyone can tell you that you are an overnight success. To manage risk, you need to do your homework. Research the investments you're considering and understand the potential risks involved. Emotions can be your best friend or your worst enemy in the world of investing. It's like being on a roller coaster ride. When the market goes up, you might feel like you're on top of the world, and when it goes down, it can be a wild and scary ride. Emotions can lead to impulsive decisions like panic selling during a market downturn. It's also important to stay informed. Investing isn't a set it and forget it activity. Stay updated on the companies and assets you've invested in. Just as you'd keep an eye on your garden to ensure it's thriving, regularly check your investments to make sure they align with your goals and risk tolerance. And remember, it's okay to seek help when you need it. If you're unsure about your investment choices or want professional guidance, consider consulting a financial advisor. They can provide valuable insights and help you make informed decisions. So investing is a powerful tool for building wealth, but it comes with responsibilities. Follow the advice of successful investors and be patient, diversify, set clear goals, manage risk, and keep your emotions in check. Just as the great Sir John Templeton once said, the four most dangerous words in investing are, this time it's different. Stay grounded and stick to your investment plan. All right now, let's move to the next lesson that is multiple income streams. You might be wondering, what exactly are multiple streams of income and why should I care? Well, think of it this way, just like a financial maestro conducting a symphony, having multiple streams of income is like orchestrating various melodies of money in your life. Picture this, you're managing your main job while conducting a side gig. In the background, investments are humming along and rental properties are dancing to their own tune. It's like being the composer of your financial life, creating a harmonious blend of income. Now let's add some flavor to this financial symphony with the concept of passive income. Passive income is like having a secret melody that keeps playing in the background, even when you're not actively engaged. It's that song you wrote once and keeps earning you royalties, or the rental income that flows into your account without daily effort. Just imagine having this financial rhythm accompanying you while you enjoy life's other melodies. Now here's a twist. When you have those multiple streams of income, it's like assembling a team of financial superheroes. So how can you create these multiple streams of income and passive income in your life while staying tuned to the 10 lessons about money from the psychology of laziness? First, consider investing in stocks or bonds. It's like becoming a shareholder in a financial orchestra. And as time goes by, your investment instruments start playing sweet melodies of wealth. Second, explore the world of real estate. Owning rental properties is similar to managing a group of talented musicians. You collect rent and they perform their money-making concert. Third, embark on a side hustle. Whether it's selling your crafty creations or driving for a rideshare service, it's like moonlighting as a one-person band while your main job plays the leading role. Fourth, become an author or educator. Write a book or create an online course. It's like composing a timeless piece of music. Once it's out there, it continues to sing its financial tune, filling your pockets. Now, here's where the financial symphony truly shines, the magic of compounding. When you have multiple streams of income and passive income playing together, 
they create a melodious financial composition. Imagine this. You've got the stock market sonata playing alongside the rental property Rhapsody. Your side hustle serenade harmonizes with the author's aria. And these melodies, when orchestrated effectively, become a powerful concerto of wealth building. And when these superheroes team up, they can help you achieve your financial goals faster than if you relied on just one income source. It's like the Avengers coming together to save the world. Your financial future is the world, and these income streams are your heroes. Creating multiple streams of income and passive income is like conducting your financial orchestra. It's about creating a harmonious financial composition that enhances your wealth and adds depth to your financial life. Remember to keep your financial symphony playing. All right, now let's move to the next lesson about money from the psychology of laziness, and that is time and energy management. This lesson is all about understanding that time is your most precious resource. We all have the same 24 hours in a day, and it's up to us to make the most of it. Now let me share an inspirational story. It's the story of Elon Musk, the visionary entrepreneur who co-founded PayPal, Tesla, and SpaceX. Musk's time management skills are legendary. He's known for creating a rigorous schedule that allows him to juggle multiple high-stakes projects. Elon's story teaches us that effective time management is a critical aspect of achieving financial success. He once said, if you get up in the morning and think the future is going to be better, it is a bright day. Otherwise, it's not. Musk's unwavering focus on his goals and efficient use of his time has played a significant role in his financial achievements. But let's break it down in simpler terms. Imagine your day as a puzzle, and each piece represents a task or activity. The key is to fit those puzzle pieces together in a way that maximizes your productivity and moves you closer to your financial goals. One of the most powerful techniques for managing your time effectively is setting clear and achievable goals. Start with the big picture, your long-term financial objectives. Then break them down into smaller, actionable steps. These steps become your daily or weekly tasks. By working systematically towards your goals, you're more likely to succeed. Next, prioritize your tasks. Not all tasks are created equal. Identify the most critical and time-sensitive ones and tackle them first. This way, you're making the best use of your high-energy moments and ensuring that you're working on what matters most. It's essential to also be mindful of time wasters. Social media, endless meetings, or getting lost in emails can eat up your valuable time. Just like a successful investor prunes away unprofitable investments, you need to prune away activities that don't contribute to your financial success. Now, let's talk about energy management. Think of your energy like fuel in a car. If you don't refuel regularly, you'll run out of gas. To maintain peak productivity, it's vital to manage your energy levels. To keep your energy high, focus on your physical health. Eat well, exercise, and get enough sleep. These basic practices might sound simple, but they can significantly impact your ability to make smart financial decisions and seize opportunities when they arise. They work together to save the day and keep your financial life in balance. You might have Captain Stock Market, Rental Property Pro, Side Hustle Champ, and the author Avenger, all working in harmony. Next, don't forget to take breaks. Working nonstop can lead to burnout. Legendary business people like Richard Branson emphasize the importance of taking time for relaxation and reflection. Branson, known for his Virgin Group, believes that breaks allow you to recharge, generate new ideas, and stay motivated. So, effective time and energy management are crucial for achieving money success. It's not just about working hard, but working smart. Set clear goals, prioritize your tasks, eliminate time wasters, take care of your physical health, and don't forget to give yourself the occasional breather. Remember, every minute you invest in managing your time and energy effectively is a step closer to achieving your financial dreams. It's a path taken by many self-made millionaires and legendary business figures, and you can embark on this journey too. Now let's talk about achieving financial freedom and happiness. The next lesson about money. Picture this, waking up in the morning not because you have to rush to work, but because you genuinely want to embrace the day. That's the beauty of financial freedom. It grants you the freedom to live life on your terms. Now you might wonder, how do you get there? Well, it's like building a sturdy house. You start with a solid foundation, which is your financial education and discipline. 
you lay down the bricks of smart investments, carefully chosen to grow over time. You install windows of opportunity, always staying alert to new ways of making your money work for you. And you have a roof of multiple income streams, ensuring a steady flow of resources. Financial freedom isn't about hoarding money, it's about having the peace of mind that comes with financial security. Imagine not worrying about unexpected expenses, having the means to travel, pursue hobbies, and spend quality time with loved ones. It's not about being a millionaire overnight, it's about having enough to live comfortably and fulfill your dreams. And here's the secret ingredient, happiness. Achieving financial freedom is not just a numerical goal, it's a state of mind. It's appreciating the small things, finding joy in your everyday life, and nurturing relationships. Money can buy experiences, but it can't buy genuine connections or inner peace. So how do you find happiness on this journey? It's appreciating the progress you make, celebrating your achievements, and understanding that financial freedom is a tool, not the destination itself. It's about using your newfound freedom to give back, support causes you believe in, and make a positive impact on the world. Think of it as a journey, not a race. Take the time to enjoy the scenery, learn from the challenges, and savor the victories no matter how small they might seem. Financial freedom is not a sprint. It's a marathon where consistency and resilience are your best friends. In essence, achieving financial freedom and happiness is not just a goal, it's a lifestyle. It's about finding balance, appreciating what you have, and being mindful of your choices. And remember, you don't have to do it alone. Seek advice, learn from others, and surround yourself with a supportive community. So as you embark on this journey, keep your goals in sight, but don't forget to enjoy the present moments. Financial freedom and happiness are not distant dreams. They are within your reach, waiting for you to take that first step and every step thereafter. There you have it. 10 Valuable Lessons About Money From The Psychology of Laziness Our goal is to equip you with actionable insights to transform your financial future. We've covered a lot of ground, and I hope you found it both informative and engaging. Remember, it's the daily choices that shape your financial destiny. Now, if you are interested, get any audiobook of your choice for free using the link below the video. This video is for educational purposes only and does not constitute investment advice. It is important to conduct thorough research and consult with financial professionals before making any investment decisions. The value of investments can fluctuate, and past performance is not indicative of future results. Always assess your risk tolerance and investment goals before allocating your capital. I recommend you watch the next video in our series. Don't hesitate to share this video, subscribe to our channel, and share your thoughts in the comments section. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in my next video.